Tonight in Jacksonville, a reunion and reception to remember and celebrate the loss of five Marines nearly 50 years ago in a helicopter crash in Norway. Nine on your side's Davis Supis visited Jacksonville today and tells us the story of how the unlikely finding of a special ring has led to the discovery of a lost history while forging a new family. I received the ring 22 years after my father perished in uh, Norway after a NATO mission. He died alongside four other Marines on top of an island called Glutea. And um, it wasn't until 1993 when a, a hunter discovered the ring and, and went through the efforts to get that ring back to my family and I. Today, the families of those Marines celebrate the lives of their fallen loved ones thanks to a film inspired by an unlikely discovery. It's, it's opening a chapter where they're finding out what happened and there were other families that were affected the same way. I've learned so much, not only about him, but it has filled in holes within myself that I never knew were missing. So wonderful, and everybody thinks that's like kind of odd term, but to finally have answers, you know, and for everybody to meet and be really united as one big family. We talked a little bit about it outside the personal finding of the mm -hmm. ring. It was a random hunter just doing his normal thing, and apparently it came to him like a beacon, you said. Can you go into a little bit of that detail of how he found that ring? Well, you have to, you have to understand where this ring was found. It's, it would be such an amazing treasure to find. I mean, it sat up there in 22 years through all of those elements. I mean, can you believe it? The ring um, was wedged between two rocks. It, it was shining, this, it was in near perfect condition, and um, I'm just so pleased that, that Hans happened to travel that way that particular day. Discovering the ring led to the forging of a new family. Not only the next of kins, but the Marines have stood behind me. Having found a whole new family who has some little bit of themselves in that, you know, we all share, um, great loss, but now great happiness in finding each other. This has been a lost piece of their history, you know, for 50 years. I don't want to say these men were forgotten, um, but it, they were, it was a lost story. It was a lost story for not only the squadron, but for the country of Norway in that area where they died. So it's exciting to bring that piece of history back. And of course, we were able to get a memorial up there on top of the mountain. Oh, there's no doubt we're staying together as a group <laughs> at all. Um, it is a very inspiring story, and how many people it's touched is the best part. Lost, but not forgotten. In Jacksonville, Davis Supis, 9 on your side.